What's up guys, it's Burnback back here, and we are going back into some more Slay the Spire modded Library of Runa. So, last time we went in with the Silent, we had a couple opportunities to do a ship build, and we didn't take them, which is disappointing. After the fact, I regretted not trying them, because I think, especially the, the first of the two we were attempting, um, would have been pretty good. This time, though, we are going to go in with the defect i think um after talking to uh some of you guys in the comments um letting me know the mod gets even harder um which is frightening um i think i will be dropping the ascension level down but what we'll do is we'll continue watcher and then on the next ironclad um setup we will go back down to um no ascension just to try it out and see if we can get a win but we're gonna go back in with the defect here I'm a little nervous. Um, defect is strong with time. Uh, I'm worried uh, that we're going to get our butt kicked because this mod is not very forgiving. Um, there's a good path right here. Two early elites, a couple early shops, and a bunch of question marks. Um, six potion now. Remove a card. Let's just do the additional starter relic. Sounds interesting. Staff of the Snake. I don't even know what this is for. Start of each combat, add an insight to your hand. Certain green cards can appear in future card rewards. Certain purple cards can. So green and purple. So this is like um, Watcher and Silent. Me, yeah. So we can just get whatever cards. It's going to be an interesting one. Which is kind of cool because we can build um, Silent Defense and Watcher for Strength. So there's lots of cool things. Also, the insight is kind of just cool to see. Um, I like that. Additional draw on the start of each combat is pretty nice to go ahead and set up our first opening hand. Um, actually, we're going to sacrifice even more health here to get a little bit more damage in here. And we got to set up our um, zaps pretty early. But it is a late Thursday night for me. Um, had a long day. Um, I, I kind of hinted um, that I was going to have some uh, very fun and exciting meetings the last um, two days. Which I did. I had a four hour meeting today. Which is not very typical for me. Um, and then I had a one hour meeting yesterday. Which was going to be longer but I weaseled my way out of part of it. Uh, I don't know. So, I do like Chaos. I do like the ore builds. Uh, Chaos upgrades to two random ones. It could be a lot of fun. It could be interesting. Here's the problem. These fights are very hard. Um, they rely on having lots of block, lots of damage. And the orbs, I think, are too slow now. I think I'm actually going to take... I'm going to take Setup. Here's the reason. Meteor Strike Setup... Sounds like a lot of fun. Ooh, and a oh, okay. This is this is a spicy start. Um, red shop keep. We can do a lot of things here. Um, when are we breaking it? Nope, 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 nope. Uh, yes, membership cards, great. And these restock. Uh, lose hundred. This is actually not as good as I want. And this is just HP, not max HP. So we could go pretty heavy here. And then just rest right here. I'm kind of game to do that. Um, whenever you heal, do that. Um, that's not very good. Uh, ceramic fish could be good. Spinner's not the best, but I'm not disappointed in it. Because we can really use it. Card creator in combat, it's upgraded. Uh, eh, I'd rather have garlic, I think. Uh, we will not go any farther. Um, but that, that's a good setup. Down to 15. And we did get the fight, but this, we are stacked to start with. Um, we are going to go with the insight here. I'm going to go with the strike. Got the languid apply. Oh, no, that's what he does to himself. Um, so he's doing six. I think I'm going to go for the one defend. Actually, spinner for one defend. And then we actually could strike for another one. I was going to play the zap, but more defensive measures and to kind of ingrain that in my brain that we're doing that so we're going to do strike defend 
Uh, strike here. We're good. Cannot play setup. But I think setup will become free once we upgrade it. But we are kind of doing great here. Um, we played... It doesn't continue from turn to turn, so... We have to play one first. I think. Yeah, I think we can just get through that, though. Alright, um... I think I'll take the fly knee now as um more energy gain. Oh man. Oh, we didn't get it. I, I always take the double rings because I don't think I've seen them all. So I'm always wanting to do this. At the start of each combat, you gain three focus and lose two orb slots. Okay. That's going to be, especially if we do this meteor strike that I'm trying to help in kind of hoping we can set up um ton of energy for one card oh let me start with five confusion that's fine those are actually better rings um than sometimes you can get doing this uh crazy employees kind of suck let's draw here um fly me let's get as much damage out on them as we can oh and that was a good hit on the lightning strike we can kill him with one attack now we have four to do it. Oh, oh yes, we can. They're vulnerable. Um, we definitely want to defend. Or if we play another strike, yep. we'll get that extra fifth defend. Oh, actually, we're good. I'm liking this. Liking. Oh, solid light projector. I've never seen this. Gain two shielding for every five cards in your discard pile. Building is an alternative block. What's the upgrade on this? For every three cards. Shielding's good. Polymerization is very fun and very funny. Um, however, with the Ring of Shattering um, and the um, less focus I want to do on orbs, this one, I think I'm going to go with Solid Light Projector. Um, the block that we can carry over is kind of nice. The rest here plus the 15 from the pillow makes a lot of that worth um, the time we put into it. Uh, we did skip one Elite, but again, I'm not too sad. Whenever a lightning, whenever you channel a lightning trigger, it's passive ability. Or no, Donu Washer is really good. Also, Adrenaline here. We can get both those. Seems like the play. Hyper Beam is on sale though. And I do usually complain that these AoE fights, especially like the one we hit on the last floor, are rough. I'm kind of thinking, but it kind of... The Ring of Shattering kind of sucks that way. What we can do with Setup, and the Zap still does something. It's not like the negative three focus immediately is going to kill it. We also could then just remove it later. I think that's the play. And I'm actually going to go with the card removal here. Um, and remove... I guess remove the Zap already, right? Is that more of a dead card now? Or dual cast? I want to remove dual cast first. Let's go kind of heavy into this. Okay, let's see if we did the right move. So, Insight, we can really, really hard draw into it to start with here. Alright, get to that. Defend, and then we can even fly knee here um, to get more setup for next turn. We should have four, one more Hyper Beam. We'll actually seal the deal on this. Turn that down a little bit. Um, so, ooh, 16 coming in here though. Not the best. Um, but we can do something with that. Let's strike, defend, strike, defend. Get the most out of spinner. We'll take three. I'm not too afraid of that. And hopefully we will draw Hyper Beam on the crack back here. We did. And that's 26 to all. There we go. Easy Elite Whetstone. Very good. Um, give one focus out of Days Exhaustive 2. No. It's good. It's just not what we want. Uh, I think I'll take a streamline. Oh, grab the relic. Hyper beam. That's that's good. That's very good. All right. Jackal of Antler. Whenever an enemy dies, refund the energy uh, cost of the last card you played. Awesome. So this is going to make hyper beam more efficient. Uh, I'm going to skip the shop here and go for the smith. Specifically, probably on setup or yeah, I think setup. This allows it to be playable. Even if all we're doing is making a strike free, it still gives us benefit. Alright, um, this is a free elite fight here for 250. I think we can do it. 
I'm actually pretty, pretty okay with this. Go for the insight. Hyper beam to start off with. Boom. Um, light projector is not good. We'll gain nothing from it. Um, but what I also like here is... Oh, I should play the upgraded one. That's my bad. Um, is we get the um, void already out. Um, we're going to play a defend probably. So, flying knee. Zap. Defend. Actually, I should have zapped flying knee defend. That's fine. Actually, the zap was probably the wrong move. Thinking about it. Um, I'm going to play two defends and a setup and one strike. So I want to lead with the defend, strike, defend, set up the strike. Best we could have done there on block. But again, for an elite fight, not too bad. I dream, you're dead. Okay, turbo, sweeping beam, sash whip. No, I think I'm good here. I am liking the diversity of cards we're seeing. Happy Teddy here is fine, actually. Hyper Beam, Streamline, Upgraded Strike. That's fine. I like seeing that. Um, go for the eyes would be good, but I don't think it's necessary here. Blowing Tesseract, Recall of Vision. Madness. Put a card from your hand at the bottom of your drop pile. It costs zero to play. Orthod is also pretty good. I've never really used it. Let's try it. We're kind of making this like um, cheap kind of uh, play as many cards as you can deck. So happy to see it. We do need to remove some cards though because then you get yeah bad turns like this. Um, we're going to go for the strike here. Let's just defend. We need to remove enough where we can get the hyper beam very consistently in the opening hand. That's what's going to like set us apart. To end fights almost immediately. Um, I think fate helps with that, but I think just keeping the consistency is going to be better. And there's a toke. I think I'll go with that actually. Um, let's toke out a basic strike. Yeah, because we've not added. We need to add some defense into the deck to really uh, supplement that. Going in here with the fairy queen. I think we've seen her once before. Um, and this is a setup and a half hyper beam here. And I'm going to set up the streamline for next turn. Uh, we have seven energy. So I'm going to play the free setup on the streamline. And we're just going to draw, but yeah. We got a ton of... The jackalope antler is probably actually not very uh, balanced, unfortunately. As like sad as that sounds, um, it is... Uh, yeah, when I can just kill everything and then get, get seven energy. So, I uh, did not get it this time. Ugh, I actually got a very bad pull on the lot here, but we should still be good. Oh, that was dumb. I didn't realize it was going to put the void on the bottom. Oh, well, we'll draw into it. It's fine. We need some more draw, though. That's my current, like, thought. All right, hyper beam. There we go. 16 coming in from you. Uh, we should do solid light. Then we should play the strike. Do I really want to set up the streamline? I'd rather just play it, right? And that. I was trying to get more block, but... Not too much we can do. She's hitting me. And it is hurting a lot. Uh, flying knee. Zap is just a dead card. We can, actually, you can play it for five, I guess. All right, worst case scenario, we'll vulnerability, we'll fear potion to end this if we have to, um, but this should do it. That is a fairy queen down. Elixir's not necessary. And there's the meteor strike, because that works great um, with one orb slot. We need draw now. Uh, whenever an orb is evoked by channeling with no empty slot, the vote eh, could be, could be very good. <laughs> Lose two energy instead. So that's going to be pretty much negated by the the Donu's Washer, but our first tor turn is very impactful. An orb is evoked by channeling with no empty slots. The orb is evoked twice. 
I feel like that's really good. Mister, I thought it was gonna replace that one, honestly. Buster core. Okay. We'll we'll try it. I almost took the crock pot, which I don't think I really ever have. However, I think it's just going to be better if that works the way I think. We're going to get a ton of value out of it. And that's pretty good. We're going to go up. We're going to hit a bunch of elites here. Which are some that we haven't seen. However, I think we're... I think we got the setup for it. Um, Hyper Beam. We're going to... Insight. See if we can get the setup. We didn't. Um, Shield Protector 0. Let's forethought the streamline here. Um, we are going to We can play almost everything so we want to play the Strike next then the defend and then we'll do this that here for a little bit of extra damage Okay, there's the void there's the meteor strike Meteor strike we still can't play so we got to keep that in mind All right defend flying knee 22 here kind of sucks Looks a lot. And then he heals 22. Very nice. Uh, it's not, shouldn't matter too much though. Do that. We're going to set up a defend for next turn. All right. Present, we are paralyzed. But as long as we get, yeah, one strike here, streamline should do it. Uh, no, these are necessary. Update body text, man. Um, let's just upgrade a card. I'd be happier with that. Uh, I think actually... You do 30. Let's get the streamline up, up, uh, upgraded here. I think we're playing it more consistently, so... I think it's pretty good. And this is where I want the stupid hyper beam. You all sucked last time. So you're all dead. You're dead, and you're dead. Thank you very much for trying. Um, not again. Lose two focus, start up gain two focus. Brave, autoplay. Yeah, I know. Pause draw is fine to be a free card draw, but. Okay. Um, upgrade a card, then duplicate it. Transform a card, then upgrade it. Lose 22. Ugh. We'd have to skip one elite, I think. Go for the rest here. Uh, I'm thinking I could upgrade. I could get another copy of Hyper Beam. Uh, I'm actually getting another copy of Meteor Strike then. I thought I could do any of them. I guess they were not. They were mutually exclusive on that one. Oh, okay. Not enough energy because of the void. That sucks. That sucks a lot actually. It's gonna hurt. And the other stinking meteor strike. <sighs> just put my opening hand into your draw pile. I just happened to draw it. Which will cause us to take a ton of damage here. Which is unfortunate. Um, zap here. Spinner. I almost got them dead. Yep. Because that we're gonna... Oh, we still got them. They'll protect them. Yep. Well, we can... 34. We can kill them. Yeah. No, we can't, actually. Hyper Beam. Defend. Set up the... Flying Knee, I guess. And then we'll just forethought for fun. Ow. Yeah, she's just going to continuously defend them. Which is quite annoying. Oh yeah, and every time you do it, it hurts her, apparently. That's how that works. Okay. Uh, there's the Meteor Strike I can't play. Get to the bottom. Uh, I kind of have to kill them right now. That's infuriating. Um, I can't kill her either. I don't think. Let's see, whenever a minion dies... 20, I think that'll only do 30. Take 50% more, yeah. So I couldn't kill them either way. So I need to focus on... I can play everything, so... Let's just hit her, and then we'll... End here. I'm gonna dig. No. 
Get one more block. I was hoping for buffer, really. Was the idea. Ouch. I mean, they're dead. Like, not gonna get away with it, but... We are at 5 HP now. Right before going into... Well, we're gonna skip the elite fight, of course. Ah. Uh, only slightly sad. Oh, we've not seen this. Warm-hearted woodsman. I like this. This reminds me a lot of Bastion. Um... Start your turn, you gain two energy. At the end of round, this creature gains one strength for every unspent energy. Oh, well, my friend. Um, you see... Meteor Strike to start with. Uh, then we are going to Hyper Beam. And we're going to Insight. And then we are going to just punch you a bunch. Problem is, we did not... Get... Oh my goodness gracious. He's going to gain 7 strength, and he's dead next turn, but, yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a, 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 uh, a counter to what we were doing, but, none of these are necessary. Alright, elite. Ooh, we have a friend here today. We have the Servant of Wrath, and we're doing the Hermit of Azra Forest. I think we've seen this one, Hermit Staff, yeah. So this dude goes nuts if he takes so much damage, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And again, we got the void in the opening hand. I'm not actually going to... Well, actually, insight, hyperbeam. Okay. Uh, set up the streamline. We're going to hyperbeam here. And then we are also going to deal... Who are you dealing this to? Does it say? It's seven and seven. So if we strike you and we defend, we should be fine. Yeah, he's dead. You attack, and then we're going to take no damage. Okay. There's the the two meteor strikes that we still cannot play because we keep getting unlucky. Just wrong timing apparently. Okay. Yeah, forethought here and zap. Um, and it makes more sense for me just to hit you, and then I guess we'll forethought the zap. No reason to play it. Okay. Deuce by one, last one time. So he's gonna do one to all of us. Oh, and everyone else is also doing nice things. Do that, then we want to strike someone. Uh, we might be dead here. I can't really specifically tell. Um, but 15 plus like 27 here. We might just die. Yep. Uh, nope, we're not dead, but we are very close. And then we have goo on us. Uh, receive three more damage from attacks, reduce one. Okay. So he's not hitting us, but I can't. Yeah, I can forethought the meteor finally. Um, and we can hit him. Oh, our buddy is still attacking us. Oh. I thought that would be like a one turn kind of thing. No. Our friend has killed us. I don't know how I was like, how do you defend through all that? A little bit ridiculous. We'll try once more. I don't think it's, it's only 23 minutes in. Like it, that was, I don't know if we'd have a run with the defect better than that. Um, uh, let's lose it. There we go. It's, it's a run now. Everything's free, but it exhausts. Ah, yes. Oh, uh, oh, it, it just, it just exhausts. You might as well play it. And that's every card we can do. Ah, yes. <laughs> huh. Yep. We'll just let this Forsaken Murderer kill us. Let's go through. I, I want to see all the pain. One more time. All right. Uh, black hole, first floor, first uh, relic. Very uh. But again, that one I don't know if you can count it. That feels unfair. Okay. Uh, additional starter relic. Bronze core does nothing. 
Cool indeed. Alright, I'm gonna go up this path. I like the Minster. Or... I don't know if that's like specifically what they're called. But the, uh... The singing, uh... Conductor one. Conductor boss, I would guess it would be called. Alright. Two, three... You're dead. Getting okay at the first... The first floor here. It's just, uh, getting past that. That's the... The real... Real key. Um, we're gonna go for two and then the... Dual cast. We did land it the way I wanted. So I picked up a claw. Hoping... We can try to, uh... Scale that in such a way... That it might work out for us. Small decks. And... Kind of cycle it. I don't know if it'll really work. It seems like it might be too low damage. But it also sounds pretty fun. So that's why I kind of went with it for now. Hmm. Let's go with reprogram here. Seeing what we can do. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. Warp train. The train station is crowded as usual. Commuters rushing from platform to platform. Hurrying to get to work on time. As one of the passengers board the train, you notice a strange looking cube drop from their pocket. It glows with fluorescent radiance. On further observation, you spot a coin slot in it. Next to the drop cube, you also no notice a stack of wooden crates hastily fastened, fashioned next to the platform. We can open the crates or we can transform a car then upgrade it. Yeah, let's just do that. Early enough to do try. Kaboom! Shared library. I've never used this, and it's interesting. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you insert some of your gold in the cube, and it glows brighter than before. It becomes, it begins to pulsate in your hands faster and faster as your vision becomes obscured by the radiance of the cube. You feel time slow as you watch these scurrying commuters pace slower and slower until time crawls to a halt, and you begin to shudder with the possibilities of what can be done with this power. Definitely the test racked, uh, specifically from uh, Avengers. Not anything else. Or it could be the All Spark, because it is also a cube. Uh, we're going to take 50 50. Failed it. Like always, Hot Poker, whenever you draw a card during your turn, deal damage equal to its cost to a random enemy. That would have been good last time. Um, we're going to also go for a Go for the Eyes here. Another free card. Hello, Fragment of the Universe. You have no abilities, so... This will do nothing to you. I mean, I might as well play it, right? I guess the only advantage of it is if they add an ability or add something. Um, you get those abilities, like, firsthand. So you don't have to, like, try to time it in such a way. I don't know if it m that matters specifically. We're going to defend and then strike here. Okay. There we go. Two strikes. I'm liking reprogram. It's gonna be I think it's gonna be a good good asset here. Trying to get me on the lightning train. I don't I don't wanna ride the lightning right now. Hmm. I think I am gonna go for well sleep and rest. Okay. I was hoping it was not Latia. Alright, shared library. On. There are no other enemies alive. I don't know how that works. I don't know how any of this is going to work. Does nothing. Good. Exactly what I wanted to see. Um. Right, dead again. Uh, Leap is going to be great here. Let's go ahead and do that. We're also going to do this. Uh, if I run your hand at once, uh, at three rows, uh, and discard pile. Uh, I mean, we might as well try this. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Ow. Ow. Okay. Uh, claw. Draw one card. Um, go for the seven here. Did get the double hit. 
Uh, I don't know what to play. I don't know what to play. I need to get these guys dead, though. So we'll do it that way, I think. And to think, I almost went for the up for the the rest. I go for the Isis right here. I'm twelve to you. Get the draws going. Another go for the eyes here. On you. That's very nice. And we're going to draw another card. Three program defend here. Not bad. I was really hoping a three here would have got it. Oh, we're down to one now. Alright. Um, Claw gets you gone. Sleep is a good block for this. Opponents here. This is six on two. This is just eight. Uh, yeah, we're fully blocked, so we'll start with that. We might make it out of this. I mean, it'll be very risky if we do. Uh, I'm going to kill you. Weakness on her. And we're going to strike there. Okay. We just have to beat her before the gifts kill me. Which is... Two turns. <laughs> Uh, reprogram again. Zap is useless now. Defend. Um, yeah, that's five, I guess. It's better than defending again. Oh, I'll play it. Alright, gift tr triggers this turn. Good time to get the leap, though. Component. Strike. Play these. Oh, we had them all back to back to back to back. I don't know why we're doing... Whenever I cause drawn during your turn. Alright. Oh, the thing went off and then we died. Alright. Uh, I wasn't expecting that one. We'll try one more. It's just a sequence of nonsense now. Okay. Defect. We've got this. We're, we're not going to get uh, messed up by our pick here. Random Iago card or Ego card. I don't know why I said Iago. Similar spellings, not what I meant. Um, take the ego. Greenstone. This is the card I want with the silent. I have not been able to get it. Uh, double all enemies of poison exhaustive too. I think it's a little too slow. Uh, we're gonna go all the way up the left side. I think. Bunch of elites again. Actually, question mark elites. Actually, this right side's better because I can get more question marks first. Our Forsaken Murderer, he's the only one who hasn't really, I think, forsaken us. He's been doing very well. He's not been very mean. Um, yes, he does hit us, but also out of all the enemies we fight, uh, he's probably the one that does the least damage to us. And he's only killed us once this time, so I take that as a benefit overall. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, I think this leap, high block card. Seems good. Grimstem, leap will do this, then we'll go for the attack. Get the poison here. Which is, I guess, very, like, pretty good passive damage. I just think it's like, um, like the orb builds, I think it's just too slow. And you can't, like, I guess, I mean, that's 20. Pretty, it's not bad. They're dead, so... I don't know. Maybe you can exponentially increase how much it is. Ah, uh, let's see. Ball lightning, cold snap. Let's try the, the frost build. Not really done that yet. Of course we take the 50-50. Did not get it this time. Challenges, we're going to right-click to make it harder. Collecting. Non-boss just contain additional ring relic in addition. Cool. I like the ring relics. They're pretty good. Uh, special relic here. Life fibers. Actually, just very good. We need to remove, uh, Librarian. Upgraded cards are also very good. I think I'll take a cold snap. I'm thinking the frost will be very good. And, um, it'd be very interesting to try. Uh, green stem here is eight. That'd so be eight on the first one. Cycle it back around would be another eight would be 16 double the 32. I don't know if that's enough to start off with. Cold stuff does not give me any additional benefits though. 
Let's try it. It is the the fancy card in the deck. We might as well do it. Tell me it's not her again. No, it's the boss. I would rather deal with the all-around boss. We can hit these guys pretty well. All right, we're gonna go with the frost as our source of a little bit of block here. All right, poison's gonna hit them. Let's see, leap. We're going to. Ugh, it's twenty coming in. Kind of, kind of nasty. Let's dual cast one. Get the damage. I'm gonna block again here. We're up to 18, which is actually not very bad. Okay, take two. This poison, if I would've got the other one, I can stack it. 20 coming in. Still not great. We'll do two and block. Up to nine. But every hit point kind of matters, so. He's at 25, so I think you're dead, which is good. Just end here. And this fight gets much easier when there's only one little monster here to deal with. One more of these. We can leap and zap. And that should give us enough. Actually, it's not enough, but give us a little bit there. A glacier is what we're kind of looking for right now. Silk glove. Whenever you would discard a single card. Turn to your hand and do that. Pain the prayer wheel relic. Purges me. Fabrication wheel. Is there any benefit? Our cards to permanently add to your deck. Fleeting. I mean, we might as well if we can just play it once. Um, we're gonna go for the, the upgrades here. I like this. This adds gives us options. We get the prayer wheel, the prayer wheel, I can talk. Um, and then we can immediately get another rare card to replace it. There's the shattering one. That's actually not very good for us. Actually, that is very good for us because that means we're going to instantly, uh, push the frost over to instantly get block benefit. I actually like it a lot. I'm going to go for the rest. It, it's, it's not the, the best move, but. It also, we're going up against a, a elite. Uh, 12 coming in. Honestly, get this out of the deck. Um, mirror shield. I like that a lot. I'm going to go for it. And it's permanently in our deck. So we are going to take 12 for a rare card, but we also get the prayer wheel. So we have more cards choice moving forward. But we do need to start hitting her to get our cards fixed. All right, let's get our frost in. Go in here. All right, there's the green stem. Um, we can push this through. Then we can... I should have done that a little differently. Dual cast. I should have dual casted the frost and then pushed and put the lightning up. That's fine, though. Um, block's not going to be that great. Can I just kill her? Probably with the help of the explosion, uh, explosive potion I probably can. And it's worth doing. I don't want to take 20. Software update to her. Increase the maximum or slight capacity to 15. I mean, if we get to that point, that'll be great. Uh, leap's good. Add another copy. Hello, butterflies. Uh, no, none of them are fighting to start with. I guess we're killing that one. We had a very, uh, bad vendetta against them. Uh, cold snap's great here. Oh, we need to punch first. Punch you. Cold snap this one, and they're dead. Uh, ball lightning here. A little bit of damage lets us push our orbs. I think I'd rather have this sweeping beam. And there's a storm. Ooh. The problem is I'm not stacking a lot of orbs. Draw one card. Ah, uh, it's tempting though. I think it's too slow. Because all we're going to do is push them off. So it's pretty much like every time you play a power, deal like 8 damage almost. I think it's fine. Okay. I know how you guys work now. So we want to get you both down pretty low. Six coming in. We have five already ready though, so. Okay. That regions, but it makes these guys annoying. Hold up and it hits you. We need to... Six coming in. We actually could just leap here and then hit you again. Alright. 
The pizzazz is three whiz, which you can't use. Wrong class. Um, eight to you. Zap here for the block. Strike you. Yep, we hit you again. All right, you're dead next turn. We just need to kill this friend. Well, you're not dead. You just got past it. Definitely dead now, though, my friend. Oh, this could backfire. And it did. It hit the wrong one. Uh, okay. Oh, no, got it. Does that say it hit? We're going to have to wait another turn and take more damage. Glacier, yes. Do wild. Next. No, I think I'm going to another sweeping beam. I'm not. We'll see how this goes, but I, I liked having the glacier. It's very nice. We're going for the Queen Bee to start with. Um, I'm just going to go with the Glacier here for a good amount of block. Good to you. Alright, strengthen, boost aggression. 7 and 6 is only 13. Let's do... We're going to do both these. We're actually going to get her down and still block a little bit. Alright, we're still... The problem is we're still, like, hemorrhaging block and stuff okay even though we're like blocking a little extra every turn it's still a lot we can beam okay where did we get oh we had the crystal that gave us another orb slot here okay rain stem and you're good, you're good the thorns are really nice too for this Defrag's great, I think. Reroute's interesting, but I don't think that's the right build for that. But there's definitely ways probably to like cheese that a little bit. Ooh, rest and upgrade. Ooh, good hit. Mirror shield for the... That's a nicety for us. Alright, and sweeping beam should actually really help in this fight. Are there another sweeping beam here? Okay. Five. So we're going to take five here. I guess I could have stopped a little bit of that. Uh, defrag, we're going to go for the glacier for a bunch of block. Okay. We want another sweeping beam coming up in the crew. Uh, they gotta, they're getting them up now, though. All right. Mirror shield gets the second orb slot, which is very nice. Um, I really need one of you to die. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop the explosion here. That gets one of them down. And starts to stop her from getting more plate armor. Okay. Reflection. And there we go. Um, green stem needs to go on you. Oh, you had artifacting. Derp. That was my bad. I don't even know which one gives her artifacting. Probably the second brother leader, I guess. Okay. And Glacier here is just an insane amount of block. And then we'll go for the Sweeping Beam. For a little bit more damage here. Okay, and then some of these are going to kill themselves. More bees. Wasp Nest. Doing very good. Mirror Shield. We're going to um, just strike, I guess. Let's start striking down her plate armor. Seems like it makes sense to me. Okay, Reflection here. For 30... Okay, um, yeah, let's hit you, defend, I guess green stem now for 16, we're not dead, but man, are we not in a good, we're gonna be in a good place after this hit, okay, but the reflection did do good, oh, she's just uh, uh, hitting again, let's get you out of here, alright, we just need to deal damage to her, Ooh, okay. She's still... Still coming at me. And defend. I mean... Taking one. But our thorns are going up every time she does that. This is a good good move there. Do that. 28 more. So thorns should hit her. And she killed. There we go. Okay. Is Echo Form the move? Okay. It, it can't hurt. Oh, these are not what I want. These are not what I want. It's definitely slow cooker, unfortunately. 
I need the energy. But man, is the first turn going to suck because of that. Alright. I kind of need to remove cards, don't I? I have the voices. I have the injury. I need to find a shop if I can. Here's a late line shop. And another elite if I want it. That's the path I'm going to go. I don't need the early line. And we could get an early line one if we need to. Alright, hit you. Oh! <laughs> I may or may not have forgotten we're going to have one energy on our starting turn. Wow, that's going to be rough. But now we got more. Mirror shield. Let's break those out. A little bit more there. Okay. I mean, they cannot be hurt this turn is the thing. I can't even target them. Which I think is a little... A little rude, but they're gonna kill themselves. Oh, they can't even be targeted by their own attacks. Very nifty, but I still think they're done. We do this, we're going to strike them, and we're going to defend. Okay. Fire potion, very good. Um, I don't think I need another leap. I'll take a cool headed though. And those I don't need either. Uh, chest. Make the 30. Ooh, got out of the way this time. Got me vitamins, right click turn card, work to turn. You may draw a card, then shuffle a slime into your. So, a little bit of card draw if we need it. I'm not disappointed in the sweeping beams here. Add, this will probably be the last one we add, but I'm okay with it. The Pianist. I like this. This is like a crumbling cityscape with this musical man. I like that a lot. The city shudders, vibrating like a plucked string. The grand performer stretches ever outward. Curling around the minds of all its victims like a slowly tightening. You try to fight it. You try to beat back against those notes ringing in your skull. Those beats pounding away in your mind. And in the end, you retain your sanity or scub. In a card in your deck gains a Nate and autoplay. Interesting. I mean, I want to take the random rare relic. Let's take the pain. Neko Tail, whenever you play a poison related card, I went dizzy. The Great First of Will, you push away the distortion, corrupting influence. But where was your family? Your friends? You need to get them away from here and from the maddening performer and his unholy melody. You see your best friend up ahead? He's smiling at you. His smile is the last thing you'll ever see. So, Neko Tail. We have a poison card. Damage dealt is reduced. Uh, damage dealt is reduced by a random amount between zero and stacks. I I mean it does. We have one poison card that can be played twice. Not the best. We also got frozen. Oh, these guys give you frozen eye. Yeah, for exile top card drop. That's fine. We have one energy here. Echo form is gone. Uh, don't like that. Oh, they gain three strength and regenerate. I right, one time is fine. I just want to be using the ring more often. Okay, glacial here is good. Hold snap is good. Uh, I'm just gonna double just leap once here. Wisdom. All right. Oh, this is not good. Sweeping beam. Can I get to glacial? All right. Nope. I'm just gonna double defend and fry a little bit. Actually, there was a better move there. The fire potion. I can't draw anything that's gonna help me. Ooh. Ouch. They're exhausting my whole deck. And they're close to dead now. Very close. Uh, six here, no. Mirror shield, get that going. You have regen, you are doing 16, you're already done. A green stem, you. Strike you, you're out of here. All right, both gone. A day is exhaustive too. I think I like the calculation training now. 
Four orb slots. Already upgraded. There's a bunch of rest coming up. All right, warm hard woodsman. We're not going to have as many problems as we did last time. He's going to give me two, which is great. Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta do that first. We're going to sweeping here. Yeah. You got me last time, but I'm going to try to, to get through it this time. Six. Echo form first. Mirror ship. Why are we taking one damage? I don't know. I don't know why we're taking one damage. Yeah. Oh, it's the pain. That's fine. I'll take it. All right. Hit me with the thorns. Yeah, you're 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 much friendlier now. Uh, 22, and he only does multi attacks. It's like very surprising. Cool headed twice. Get the leaps going, and the I guess the the cool headed actually came in handy because. We kind of need the card supply. 17. I think we can do that. All right, we beat our the last person who killed us. Uh, Elixir, actually get the whiz out of here. I can't use it. Uh, another FIFO Q is not good enough. Blizzard. It's setting up for, for a, a white Christmas over here, so. I'm kind of okay with that. I'm gonna go to rest. We'll upgrade on the next set because we do have an elite here. An elite we've never seen either. Um, so we have Mountain of Smiling Bodies. Uh, these give me a very um, oh, what's the word? We were me and my wife were just talking about it earlier. Um, Spirited Away vibe, like the the no face masks on the side here. Okay, so Echo Form is just gone. Uh, they are doing eighteen to their friend. Uh, if the enemy kill that the enemy heals 30 HP and they're doing 30 to me lovely lovely jovely um, all right so we got a fire potion so he's not gonna kill him this turn but we'll kill him next turn go ahead and do the leap here I really don't want to take that much though so. luckily for some reason oh he's gonna heal up to that is is the is the uh the idea i think we got a mirror shield here he's not hitting his friend full headed um cold snap him this time they can't kill him we also need the healing because he's going to do 18 to me okay that's fine i actually can just kill them i can't actually kill them i can kill them Does this thing turn into a, an enemy? I don't like that if it does. Can I draw a card? Yeah. You're dead, right? Oh, it ate one of its... Oh, that's... That's doo-doo nonsense. Oh, I didn't expect that, really. Okay, sweeping. Calculated here. Double defend. He's doing 15 to the corpse. I mean, I'm just going to continue to lay into him, I think. Yeah, he's going to take 10 when he hits me. Yep. This wash nest is a savior. Um, sweeping beam, I need to kill this man. So, um... Oh, I have to really kind of just hope. No, I can do this. Yeah, so we're good there. It is redirected towards me. The daze is not fun. But I do like this elite as much as he's very horrifying to my sanity and to um, everything that it means to me. Um, he is a very unique design, and I like this playing mechanic on taking out the other one, the um, his minions to heal and such. Very unique. We actually get a turn two. We have the pain in the hand. I think I'll actually just leave it here. Yeah, he's gonna eat. All right, 15 to his friend. Not to me, so I'm actually going to see if I can, like, lay, get some stuff done here. It seems like he doesn't do over, like, 18. So I'm just trying, he's trying to heal himself up. I don't know if he would get another, um, 
another head back if he heals over 50. I'm kind of curious. He does. He does get another head back. Okay. So we're going to Blizzard. Yep. And then we will calculate training here. Continue. Oh, he's going to eat that one for 20. Or 30. Oh, no, actually he died. Before he got to do that. Play the two slimes. Damage you. Okay, he's going to bring another kid out. I like this. Endurance training at its finest. The pain here is... Nonsense. Um... You're dead, though. Cool. Pretty nice. Uh, weak tea is not great. It actually does nothing for us. Um, and I don't need any of these. Uh, what I really need is the pain gone. And that's what we're going to do up here. I'm going to rest again. I'm trying to save my life fibers for when it really matters. So, ring. Uh, let's take the money first. Um, ring just a card. Apply one point to all enemies. That's pretty good. Sorry. At start of combat, you become confused for three turns. Gain two energy at the start of round one and two. Gain one energy at the start of round three. We're, we're getting nuts with it. I'm, I'm going full ring, man. Um, okay. Uh, Sling of Courage is good. Hey, I draw one card for each enemy in combat. Pretty nice. And it doesn't exhaust either. Here comes from Nate. Lumber, deal 10 damage, exhaust two cards for each attack exhausted, add its base damage to this card, turn into a draw pile. That's cool too. Very cool. Um, okay. I want to buy the rug. I want to get rid of Neko Tail, White Glove, I think, and T. Maybe? Is there a reason for that? Would I, get, I don't think I'd get enough value out of it. Uh, Crystal will give you two additional focus to adjacent orbs. At the end of your turn, if you have more than half your orb slots are empty, channel one crystal. Mm, it becomes innate. My problem is I need a way to help with the slow cooker problem. First, I think I definitely want to remove pain. Definitely happening. I think strawberry is going to be good. And I think I'm going to buy Sling of Courage. And I think I'll wait on the rest. Oh, hello, my Knight of Despair. The confusion actually might end up being really, will actually be very good here. Uh, why else do we have three on the start? Oh, but that's what it does. So it gives it, so this is actually counteracting our slow cooker. Um, echo form here, sweeping beam, sweeping beam, uh, FIFO Q, take 20 to the dome. Ouch. Nothing I could do. Uh, but, back to some normalness. Double glacier here. Cold snap. We have three. This is gonna be 10 to all AoE. That's not enough, but we are protected, so... I'd rather do the AoE, I guess, than nothing. Alright. So our best turn is actually turn two now. Weirdly enough. Good double sweeping beam, but... Fine. Um... I might as well dual cast. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it takes an overpower build to do this, but... I'm not opposed to it currently. 50 feet. I should have struck, but when this thing dies, we're good. And it just did. Coltish potion. That could help us get us out of some nonsense. Boot sequence. Actually, boot sequence is a bad card because we're confused on turn one. Another shopkeeper. Um, whenever you gain a status, enemies lose one strength during that turn. Okay. Uh, Sorry, we're trying to trigger the passive of your next orb now. Start coming up with three additional orb slots. That's good. That's very good. Yeah, let's take it. Kind of, I'm kind of okay with that. So now we start with three. 
Queen of Hatred. Whenever you attack three, whenever you play three attacks in a single turn, you gain two weak. Whenever you play three skills, you gain two frail. Dumb. Uh, but we can we can make this work. Glacial. Blue sequence. Strike. That's all we'll do. Okay. Then it resets. Defrag. Full headed. Defend. That's it. You could be beat, beaten by just playing very slow. Cold snap. Cold snap. Sleep. That's more than 21. Um, do I play Echo Form? Yeah, might as well. That's enough. They're dizzy too. I wish we could get this Sneko Tails during an actual, um, silent run, because that would be very nice. Two attacks. Right. I think we just can, like, run at the speed for a while. Uh, Sifo Q, Mirror Shield. We did get double frail, but I don't think it really uh, matters at this point. All ka da da da. Four surge. I think I'd rather have a calculation training. And then I think actually one overclock upgraded would be good. I'm gonna go for the elite. Oh, it's the spicy boy. Uh, I have enough block if I can get set up, but this will not matter. No, it's mirror shield to start with, unfortunately, and then calculation training. All right. If I can get enough frost, in theory, they won't be able to hurt me. Do all other oh, he intends to do all damage to all other characters. Okay, already, my dude. Uh, so we have nine. He's doing twenty-seven. Oh. Okay. I have six to play around with. Kind of need to do this. Echo form for one is great. Problem is, am I dead here? I could gummy vitamin for a card. It had to be free though. Took, took the risk. Took the risk here. Uh, I might be dead, but about to find out. 1530, nope. Two left. Well, I thought it would be two, but six. Turn. Oh, no, we came back with our life fibers. That's fine. All uh, right, we're making it farther than what we did before. Defrag two. I should defrag first. And I think we can kind of just... I don't know if our little friend can hurt us anymore. Because they're going to get beat up. Most definitely. Yeah. But I need to give him more protection. Okay. And cool headed. Let's cold snap here. Um, leap. So if whenever he takes 12, I have. He's doing 36. They're doing 16. So that is. 40, 36, and 16. No. 52? I have plenty. I could give him some, but he's just gonna rage again, I think. Yeah. He's also killing himself. Every time he does that with the worm. So, I'm not going to try and make him not do that. I'm just going to kill the big friend and then the match is over. Matroshka, very nice. Um, I think I'd really have the spike energy drink rather than the elixir. Nope. So we're kind of at the mercy of the, uh, I'm going to upgrade this, I think at the mercy of the confusion but it's been okay i don't think we've ever seen this one this is Oz ozma very cool got three they're dealing some at the beginning here i think i'll just fifo q to start with boost sequence was a bad idea i mean it always guarantees that we have block but oh and they steal cards stealer steal every stone whenever this creature is still at the top card of your draw pile. Loses HP, the stolen card is put back into your hand. Okay, that's fine. Um, sweeping Beam. Oh, they have 100 hit points. 
That's actually crazy. Defrag, defrag. Uh, we'll just leap to not take more damage. And I didn't realize that. That's a lot. I'm expecting them to... Whenever I'm in a this creature, also loses that much. Yeah, 26. I was about to say, I'm imagining they're going to attack sometime soon. Mirror shield here. Get the double reflection. Full headed to draw the card. Um, we should just keep punching, I think, the small guys. But we'll poison her. Alright. This is a good setup here. Alright, I think... No, I don't think they're actually going to get to me. A lot of interaction going between the, the bees nest and stuff. Or the wasp hive, I think is actually what it's called. Blizzard's only for six. Not channeled as much as I thought we had. Uh, Glacier here is going to get though. Old snap. Calculation training. That's fine. I think we're kind of uh, over the hump. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Because, I mean, really the thorns are going to um, probably do a lot of the damage here. And I thought this would be too slow, honestly. Uh, channeled this. I feel like we've channeled. Times the number of frost orbs channeled. I feel like we've channeled more than that at this point. Oh, 18. Yeah, it, it's because we were paralyzed, apparently. Blizzard here is great. Oh, and we got an overclocked. Overclock here. Ah, the burns. Fine. No sweeping. And I guess we can actually just kill one of these. Another one down. Okay. I think what I like most is actually, even more than the boss, I like the art of the little jacks. They're actually pretty interesting here. And she's got 39 poison. Get the mirror here. We're gonna put the, f uh, the, f the uh, crystal ones in the rotation, even though I don't think I really need them. Slowest build ever, but it works. Double calculation training. Duplicate one. And that's it. That's all we can accomplish. Nope. You tried. Double calculation training. Could have been better to double sweeping beam just so we can draw another card. But not too worried here. We're getting more and more poisoned actually by the, the fetid barrel. And I think we're going to fully three for once. Um, no, I could see like an excuse for multicast, but every time you play two cards in a single turn, draw a card. Nope. Transform two cards at the start of your turn. Nope. Just take the tiny house. It's the safe move. Defend. I don't need the ancient potion. No, I think we're good. All right. Continue our ascent. Azith. All right. Pretty happy to be here. I think I'm going to go for the elites and ones that also have the campfire opportunity here. This one actually has two rest back to back though. Elite, a bunch of rest, then you can cut over and get another rest. No, this one I think has more though. And it has an early shop. I got 200 gold burning a hole in my pocket. Oh, we have been here because I remember these guys. Um, FIFO Q to start with. Sweeping beam, draw a card. That's not what I wanted. I'm doing 28 to start with. Uh, break this. Not the ones I wanted. Uh, calculation training is fine. I mean, it's going to do damage, but... Not block like I wanted. Okay. Uh, still not a very block intensive hand, but we can get something done here. Okay. The poison to all of them. Oh, they're almost dead. I wonder what the lungs are actually craving here. Since they are the lungs of craving. Get it? This is what happens when I am staying up too late. Sorry, 10 o'clock. It'll be crazy by the time I get to bed. Uh, another cool headed is great. Mm, no, I don't need. I don't need another one. They're good, but I don't need one. Hannah Association. She glanced at the report, sighing. 
Another office has fallen to this urban nightmare. We'll need to classify this. Classify is as classify it as a star of the city now. Our colleague grimaced. More needless deaths. If we had investigated the classified this and classified this hazard properly from the start, offices like these would not fall prey to the threats beyond their league. I've told you before, but we do not have the time, resources, or manpower to investigate every hazard hazard in the city ourselves. She could see him hesitate. Finally, he spoke up with a scowl. I'll do it myself. Or trigrams. Start of your turn, Roman activate in effect. Hasn't activated this combat. Those are all really good. We'll take a regret for it. But we already have a bunch of curses. Like voices. Regret's pretty pretty sucky, but I'll take it. Because these are good. Strength, dex, energy, and drawing a card. The hazard is a star of a city now, right? That means it's worthy of our attention. I'll go handle it. No one else needs to fall victim to it. He storms out of the room. He doesn't try and stop him. Yeah. I'll just try to remove that later. Oh, I didn't even mean to go this way. I meant to go to the shop, but... Oh, well. Bloodbath. This is a good, good hand. Boot sequence. Mirror shield. Yeah. This guy... Looks like he just attacked. One strength from the Trigrams. Leap. Hold a snap here. We're going to take two, but not the worst. Depression. So sad. Uh, defrag here. Uh, sleeping first. Okay, overclock. Green stem. Sweeping again. Defend. I think all the. They're doing 16. We've got that in spades. Let's actually go and up our. Up our stuff here. Oh, he's just already dead. Whoopsie do. Um, honestly, at this point, I'll take a loop. Uh, I don't think I need a stat whale. Unblocked attack damage is the problem. I block most of my attack damage. Pretty much. For those we cherish, I have a problem. She gulped. That didn't sound good. My anniversary. Oh, this is the anniversary one. We've seen this one. Um, something cute for 120 gold. Yep, it's the teddy bear. Uh, to start to gain two strength and one dex. We've seen that one. Flora philosophy. Yeah, uh, occurring and gains ethereal. I don't know if we've seen this one. You're not supposed to be here. The stern looking woman takes a sip of tea in size as she places it back down. If you're interested in doing uh, in doing my job properly, I chase you out. But luckily for that, I cannot be bothered for the moment. Why don't you join me for some tea? I mean, I just I want some tea from the cute girl, but also removing the leap is fine. Alright. That was the smith. Um I think I'm gonna start getting the defrags upgraded. Let them be a little bit more meaningful in the first playthrough. Uh Shrine of the Blue Star. This also looks slightly familiar, but also not familiar at all. Four here. The FIFO Q. Boost sequence. We give them all poison. Calculation training here. Alright. And they have Is it blue? It will suicide without trigger. Does 15 damage when it explodes. Okay. Cool headed here. Um, I don't have a ton. Cold snap. I'm going to go ahead and Sneko Oil here. Actually, very good. Happy with all that. Plenty of block. Okay. So I need to kill these two next turn if I can. Loop for zeros, great. Play that twice. I actually would have probably rather done other things with it, but not too opposed. We are going to take probably a pretty big hit here. Oh, we're dead. Oh. <laughs> uh, I could have... E I guess soul burn? No, I could have rich... Uh, there wasn't much I can do. It, it, it was meant to happen. That was a lot of damage. I guess more AoE, but we needed to set up our blot. I guess I should have killed... Should have uh, focused on killing one of these faster. Oh, well. We got much farther, and that was a lot of fun. 
I guess was wrong. The frost build didn't do too bad once you got it started and the ball got ro rolling. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, question for this time. I left a lot of it out from the beginning. So anyone who makes it here, uh, feel free to answer. Uh, I was debating. I do have a webcam. I use it when I stream. I've seen a lot more people adding it to normal YouTube content. Would that be something you guys would be interested in seeing? Let me know with a comment. If not, I will continue as such. Um, but thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.